Hello, I am Mark Markerson. Thank you for watching this. I am a professor of Bridgeology and Shifty Business Studies at Nietzsche Sons Online University. I am also a concerned taxpayer of Omaha, Nebraska. The cities of Council Bluffs, Iowa, and Omaha, Nebraska are divided only by the Missouri River. A few years back, the leaders of both cities decided it would be a good idea to bridge the gap between the two. Now here's the artist's rendering of the Bob Carey footbridge um, as it was intended to be designed. This is what was approved. Had it actually been built this way, it would have been the world's first suspension bridge with an S-curve. Uh, quite, quite the little treasure for Omaha. Uh, this is footage that I shot um, on my own. This is the Omaha skyline with the Mutual of Omaha building there in the distance. And here we have the Missouri River. I shot this footage last weekend and the bridge had been open for over a month. Here is the Bob Carey uh, pedestrian bridge. There it is, your tax dollars at work. Uh, as you can see, it's not even completed, doesn't even cross the river. Uh, it looks structurally unsound, the part of it that has been built. It's, it's built way too short, it seems. Um, here's a second view, that's the Woodman Tower, the Quest Building there, U Union Pacific Building, um, the First National Tower on the right. This is just to give you perspective. This is the real bridge, the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge, as it was uh, completed a month ago. Here's what we were promised. Um, but this is what we got. I'm outraged. I'm outraged. I've got a colleague, uh, Beth Betherson. Um, she has uh, written a book. Uh, she's written a book called Scamming Cities, a look at civil engineering scams of the 20th century. Beth, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Mark. Over the past century, many American cities have fallen victim to scams just like the Bob Carey footbridge. A fancy architectural firm will sweet-talk impressionable city leaders into funding ridiculous projects promising to create a nationally recognizable structure. And you have some interesting case studies, don't you? Yes. For example, Kansas City was told their skyscraper would be a Seattle Space Needle-esque structure. They ended up with a crumbling warehouse. Indianapolis was promised a St. Louis Arch-type building. However, they got a wrecked garbage truck. Chicago city leaders were hoping to import something as grand as the famous Detroit pile of rubble, and they fell short with this Millennium Park project that had some potential if it had not been constructed by a crew of drunken Irishmen. Thank you, Beth. Um, it is a small consolation to see other cities making mistakes as big or bigger than the ones that we have made. Uh, yet Omaha really has a, a lot to lose in the national eye as far as a reputation for a progressive city when they make such a disastrous error as they have with this bridge. Um, the positive note out of this is that Council Bluffs is a city that not many Americans have heard of and their national reputation does not stand to lose much because of their lack of notoriety uh, to begin with. So perhaps they can pull up out of this nosedive and salvage some face. Um, the next big question for Omaha is whether their next big project, the College World Series Stadium that has already been approved and they've already begun some of the early stages of uh, building, whether that project will succeed or whether it too will fail uh, shamefully like the footbridge. Either way, um, best case scenario, the, the stadium goes well, it will still stand in the nearby shadow of the rusty, jagged uh, heap known as the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge. Sad, but true. I'm Mark Markerson. Thank you so much again for watching this podcast. Please forward this link to as many people as possible. We must spread the word about the lack of civic oversight and the squandering of taxpayers' money.